Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! Today we're going to take a look at some Orux. This is for the Age of Sigmar game put out by Games Workshop. And what they did is they did away with the old Warhammer game, Warhammer Fantasy, which is really sort of a Tolkien-esque thing and was becoming a, really quite a burdensome product line. And as a professional painter, I can tell you that it was problematic near the end because the game was designed to be played with armies of 200 figures and the price point just to buy the figures was really just over the top. So they turned it into a much smaller model base game, more of a skirmish game. And I, I think it really was better for it. But when it comes to Oryx, which are basically the old black orcs. So here's models from back in the uh, days of uh, Warhammer Fantasy. These were the black orcs that they had. And the models were really cool. I really loved them. But it was really hard to rank these guys up. Like they would be on, these are on 32 millimeter bases, but they used to have to rank up on 25 millimeter bases. And it was quite a puzzle just to get them to rank up. So quite frankly, they look better. They're just absolutely outstanding for, um, uh, for this base size. Here, let's, let's get a little bit more light on there. How's that guys? Are my videos too dark? You know, sometimes I look at the thumbnail and I'm like, oh, did I do that too dark? But if you do it too light, they tend to be washed out and it's not a good representation of what they, what they really look like in person. So uh, this is some of the, the new hotness that came out, I don't know, it feels like about a year and a half ago. I actually had an army with a bunch of these guys and it's six of them and they were a delight to paint. There's so much detail on them. They're so, the models are like really large and very, very characterful. And here's the new Mega Boss they came out with. This is about the size of a Space Marine Dreadnought. I mean, this guy is really, he's really a badass. This giant dragon skull on his shoulder pad. I mean, I gotta tell you, there is everything to love about this figure. And this is a war chanter. This is like kind of a supplementary piece that gives your guys a little bit of force multiplication. Well, folks, that's all I have to show you for the day. And as usual, if you would like something done, just contact us at the email in the liner notes. And I am more than happy to get your project set up and uh, apparently knock some guys over. As a side note, all of our projects are double matte coated with high quality uh, protective sealant. So they're definitely ready to hit the boards and take some punishment. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you got your inspiration for the day. Yeah!